guys i might just have a problem i'm assuming everyone relates to this whereas i might put this on the internet and embarrass myself but we'll find out hello guys welcome to my channel violet here and today we are just having a chill weekend we are watching some dishes we are doing a little cleaning we're doing a tiktok we are going for some brunch we're doing a bunch of stuff so come with me on the journey and let's go before we get started one thing now we're ready let's go wash some dishes i want to talk about the mole guys if you aren't watching the mole you have to watch the mole if you're into shows like big brother or the challenge or survivor i think you'll like the mole a lot and for those people that watch the mole can we just have a little discussion by the way if you haven't seen it yet and you don't want spoilers tune out five four three two one i think the mole is kazi or kazi i don't know how you say her name but i think she's the mole the part that really made me think that she was the mole when they were having that one challenge where two people get actual good food and the rest of the cast gets wasabi and like gross things that will actually make you have a physical reaction and they had to guess who had the good food and make sure that they were left sitting down. Kezi was one of the people that had good food. And I remember her eyes were watering and like little things here and there that I feel like she was kind of doing to make it seem as if she didn't have good food. And I remember at some point they were like, oh, Kezi, how's your food taste? And she's like, mm, it's good. Like she said it in a way that she's not really meaning what she's saying. So it almost seems as if she wants them to believe she's lying when she wasn't lying. It was actually good food. So if she got up and they voted her out, they lose money. And that's the whole purpose of the mole is to let them lose money. So they actually voted her out and lost money. She has fumbled that bag so many times, but out of everything that kind of gave it away for me she plays a game where it's kind of like she's trying to act happy-go-lucky she's shattery she's friendly she's almost aloof but she's not i don't think she is she's a whole engineer maybe i'm being stereotypical with engineers but i feel like that's her strategy is to act like a happy-go-lucky not thinking too deep into it making silly mistakes kind of girl and she, i think she's the mole but the real banger would be if Will is the mole. No one suspects Will apart from Joy, I believe. And Will has played such a clean game where he's really trying to earn money that it would be so shocking to everyone if he was the mole. The mole is either Kezi, and if it's not her, then it's Will. Kezi, I'm on to you. Now that I'm done cleaning, I'm about to shoot a TikTok. If you aren't following me on TikTok, guys, go follow me on TikTok. Oh, I need to do one thing before I start TikTok, though. Now I'm ready. <laughs> this TikTok is like a relatable TikTok. It always happens to me when like I'm eating a bunch of snacks and you're trying to be the snack. You're trying to look nice and fit, but you keep eating snacks. So you promise yourself that you will stop eating snacks. And then two days later, you're eating a bunch of snacks. That's pretty much what this TikTok is going to be about. So let's get it set. I saved these bags of Doritos whenever I ate Doritos just for this TikTok and M&M's too. I promise I'm not as fat of an ass as I look right now. And then I bought two new ones so I can have like, you know, I'm eating in the video. So these are for that. Last but not least, I think it'll be good to have pop cans in there just to really drive it home. This is Zevia, so it's zero calories, zero sugar, zero everything is like stevia, but you can you, you still get the message, right? It was like I went snacking. So the scene has been set. It's time to film. <laughs> So 
that was the TikTok, guys. Go follow me on TikTok. Now that I'm done my TikTok, I am going for my walk. I don't think it's going to be two hours just because it's getting kind of dark and I don't want to be out there for too long. So maybe like an hour walk. Let's go for a walk. best thing about my walks is definitely the sunset like how pretty is that come on and look at this uh what's this called happy hour no <laughs> sun's twilight magic hour i think it's called the magic hour i'm not even sure what it's called shit but look look at this light come on like tell me this does not look tantalizing <laughs> one more time for that sunset one time for the one time <sighs> back to my walk <laughs> about to get some brunch at this place is called the twisted apron i heard it's really good i've ordered takeout here before but i've never sat in to eat so i'm excited to see how it is thoughts on this restaurant immaculate tantalizing that was really good food. It definitely lived up to the hype. The chicken and waffles was really good. I feel like the area I live in doesn't really have the best chicken and waffle options. So I was really surprised because usually the chicken is messed up or the waffles are messed up, but both were really good. Like the chicken was well seasoned, you know, um, everything was good. And then the uh, eggs benedict with the salmon come again. Like I can't go back to eating regular eggs benedict with ham. Like it has to be salmon from now on. It was so good. Even the potatoes, like the texture, everything was good. There wasn't that one hard potato on the side that you can't eat. Everything was like consistent all through. So I would definitely give it a solid like 8 out of 10. I'm definitely going back there. Today I'm gonna try to take deodorant build up out of my workout clothes armpits. I don't know if you have the same problems, if you work out, if you just sweat a lot, but when you have deodorant on and you work out and you sweat, it starts like sticking and building up in your armpits and I was trying to find out ways to take it out because I have it on my workout clothes now and I found this website that says that you should use baking soda which I just bought dump some baking soda into a bowl about one quarter of a cup let's try it out I have a cup it says like about right like right here my nails are like outgrown as hell I know I don't think I've ever used baking soda in my life for actual cooking that one fourth yeah it's good enough <laughs> start adding warm water about a tablespoon or two at a time until you've got a thick wet spreadable paste so i have some hot water now pour oh shit you hear that yeah this is definitely a thick spreadable paste this is what it's looking like. So I'm gonna spread this in the armpits and we're gonna see what happens. I have all my workout clothes are literally in need of this. Let's go to the bathroom. And just like that, we're in the bathroom. Keep in mind, once in a while, you have to re-stir this because it gets kind of hard at the bottom. Okay, so I'm done putting this stuff in the armpits. I've scrubbed it as much as I can. It seems like it's working really well, but I'm gonna be able to tell better once I wash all the clothes. I have like two that I did and two that I didn't. And I wanna compare and see if I see an actual big difference in the armpits. Okay, I am back finally with the laundry that takes 10 billion years to be done. It is finally complete and the results are in. These are two of my sweatshirts, exactly like the one I'm wearing right now. Guys, I might just have a problem. It might just be me. I don't know. I'm assuming everyone relates to this, whereas I might put this on the internet and embarrass myself, but we'll find out. Okay, so this is the armpits. <laughs> 
maybe I just need to buy new workout clothes. This is the armpit of one that I used the baking soda on. You can see the texture is still very silky in the armpit area. You see how the texture is different? It's a bit more sheen. In person, at least, the white stuff isn't really there anymore. It just has the sheen. So I feel like if I did the baking soda one more time on the armpit, it will be fully gone. And then this is the armpit of a sweater that I have not done the baking soda on. As you can see, it has way more sheen. I don't know if the camera is really getting it, but in person, it still has the white shadow, <laughs> the whiteness on it. So this is them side by side. You can see the difference more. So this one has a bit of white in the sheen. This one has a sheen, but no white in person. On camera, it might look slightly different. And to be fair, this looks worse on camera than it does in, on per in person. And so does this one. <laughs> so let me save myself a little bit. I'm gonna do this maybe once or twice more and I think that should get the stain and the texture fully out. If you happen to be out there and you have the same issue I have, fingers crossed there's someone out there because this is just too embarrassing if there isn't. <laughs> if there's someone out there that has the same issue, that is how you can kind of take care of it. If there's maybe extra products I can add in with the baking soda to make it work better, let me know because I am open to trying many things. I have a bunch of these jacket sweaters, zip ups, whatever, and I would hate to throw all of them out because they're my favorite thing to work out in, as you can see. So if I can keep them, that'll be great. That is it. Next week, I'm going to come to you with a better, more eventful video. Something that has nothing to do with armpits. How about that? <laughs> Until then, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out with this YouTube algorithm, especially since I'm kind of changing my content up and the YouTube algorithm is like, what, girl, what are you doing? Comment down below if you know any other solutions I can try out for this. Or if you're like, Violet, just go buy new workout clothes. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos coming your way. I'm really excited to put out more videos of this style. I think I need a change up and I think this is it. Bye.